What's going on everybody? So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit more about intuition. Um, yesterday I had a, Jesus. Yesterday I had like a, um, I uploaded a video uh, where Nia and I like just went back and forth a little bit about um, intuition. I also have a video um, about Moldavite on her channel. Um, so if you want to go check that out, uh, feel free to go look at that on her channel. Feel free to subscribe to her. Um, but ever since recording that video, I just wanted to talk more about intuition. It's been ringing in my head and that's me trusting my intuition. You know, when I trust my intuition, there's like your mind, your inner knowing, your inner self, your higher self, somebody or something, whether you call it yourself or something above you is telling you what you should be doing. You know, and me, it's just like when something keeps getting stuck in my head, I keep talking about it to myself. I keep hearing it and hearing it. I know I need to either let it out or deal with it. If it's something bad, I have to deal with it. You know, and don't just push it down. Don't just like, you know, bypass it. Just work with it and be like, okay, I have this feeling because of this and this. How can I like, you know, overcome this feeling? How can I resolve these feelings I'm having? And then if it's something that I should be doing, hey, that's what I got YouTube for. That's what I have this platform for. You know, like I just open up and record simple you know what i mean so i can't remember if it made it to uh our intuition video but i i related um intuition as the angel and ego as the devil on your shoulder right and of course i always say that there's a, it's important to have balance a lot of spiritual places a lot of spiritual channels a lot of uh uh, like mystics, yogis out there, they always say, like, get rid of your ego, um, you know, uh, dispose of your ego, get rid of it, stop listening to your ego. And I do believe that is accurate to a sense. Um, I'm more so like you need to tailor your ego because what the ego is, is it wants you to stay safe. Your ego is the thing that wants you to stay in the same place because the same place means safety. You know, change is scary to your ego. You know, for example, like, um, let's just say like, you know, sometimes your, your ego, I, I think I may have uh, related it before, but your ego is almost like that jealous friend. You know, you might have some friends that are jealous of your growth, jealous of the changes that are making you, that you're making in your life, jealous of this and that. And they want you to stay the old friend so you can stay with them at that low vibration. You see what I'm saying? That's kind of like what your ego is, you know? So if you want to say like, you want to work out. Like your ego is like, no, you're fat. Like fat's okay. You know, we're just going to stay here. Like it, it, it changes. Like it's just like, oh, we're just, we're fat. We're going to stay fat. You know, we're not going to do anything. It's like, we're good here. This is who we are now. This is who I am, the ego. This is who I am, the ego. So I'm not going to change that. You know, and sometimes you have to listen to the intuition, the light side, quote, quote, if you will, the good side, if you will, to like balance that out because your intuition is going to always lead you to where you're supposed to be. Your intuition is going to lead you to something you're supposed to be doing. You see what I'm saying? Um, like for example, for me, like my intuition told me to start putting my word out there, start putting information out there, start trying to make people's lives better, start making people feel better about themselves. But my ego was saying, you know, hey, no one's going to listen to us, man. Like, you know, we have all these friends now that we talk to and they never seem to really listen to you until after the fact, you know, so like what, what makes you think the world's going to be different? You see what I'm saying? You see how the different conversations that can happen. And that's why I say you have to pay attention to both. I do think you need to pay attention to both, but you need to tailor your ego. Like, it's almost like you need to make it like, um, like if you're like, if you're like pulling a rope, like, let's just say like the intuition is talking to you. You need to pull that side to your ego. So that ego starts to think like your intuition and then your intuition is going to go out and keep finding new things for you to do while your new ego is going to be like, Hey, you know, I think we should do more of this because I like this. I am now a spiritual teacher. I'm now a YouTuber. So what can I do to do better? You know, and then there'll be something else. Like, let's just say, I, I don't plan on ever being like a streamer like this, but like, let's just say I want to be a Twitch streamer and play video games. My ego, be like, wait, 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 you're a YouTuber. You're supposed to stay in YouTube world. But then my intuition say, hey, be a Twitch streamer, you know, play games and blah, blah, blah. I don't like playing games, but it's just a quick example, you know. And you need to, you need to understand that. And we talked about uh, how the Moldavite um, will help you with that. Your Moldavite is going to like uh, bring up the shadow work. That's the stuff that your ego identifies as. And once you do that, you're going to start to, you know, shed that dead weight and move forward with your life. When you are, aren't so dense and you're not stuck in your 
your your your self-loathing your 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 self-limitation is probably the best word and like all-encompassing word your self-limitations you're going to be able to see everything you're going to trust everything because for me I've been I've been saying like I something that I said to my parents a while back I said when have I ever tried something new tried something crazy and I failed like when have I super failed like sure like of course you make mistakes as a kid growing up and stuff but when have I tried something and failed at it they're like you really you really never did fail anything you kind of just lost interest in something or this and that but you never failed anything I'm like exactly but I had to ask myself that again like just recently and I was like you know what when have I failed anything you know, is that every time I get into some new venture, it helps me, it betters me. That's where like these crystals are coming from, you know? Like right now, I'm just, you know, average Joe. Like in the physical world, in the current reality, it's like I'm the average Joe. You know, like I go to work, you know, every, like most people can't stand my job because jobs are stupid, jobs are slavery. <laughs> and I've been and I've been doing everything in my in my power to get to a point that I can free myself. You see what I'm saying? And, and I say that to like emphasize that at this present moment in this physical reality, I'm not a rich man. I, of course, and here I am in my soul, I am. So I'm ready. I'm just waiting for it to materialize however it happens. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready for it. But right now, I'm just a regular dude, pay my rent, you know, got bills, you know, got save money here, spend here, like, you know, and whatever. But like some of, some of my necklaces and some that I'm not wearing, some of them are expensive, some of them aren't. You know, but when they are expensive, I have to sit there and think about it. But then my soul, my intuition says, you know what? Just get it. Just get it. Trust me. It's like you believe you're in the living in a world of abundance, right? You live in a world of opulence, right? All right, let's get it. Grab it. And every time I do, it's like it's a win for me. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm trusting my intuition. I'm trusting that inner knowing that's saying do it. Of course, look, your bank account might be getting a little low, but get that. Get it. So you believe in your abundance, right? You believe everything is going to be returned to you, right? I'm like, well, yeah. It's like, all right, that's the angel on my shoulder. Say, do it. Grab it. And, like, I feel that I really want some of these necklaces. You know, Moldavite was the coolest one. Like, this one was, like, a little pricier. But, like, um, it was really good because, like, I just feel the power from it again. And then, like, now it's led me to different uh, stones like this one. This is Agni Manatite. And this is the one that, like, kind of like transmutes your energy towards you fulfilling your goals fulfilling your dreams fulfilling your desires like kind of like getting like go out there and get it mentality you see what i'm saying so like that's what i've been um feeling with this one um and my intuition is like it's always telling me challenge yourself challenge yourself challenge yourself and it's like the real world this physical world the natural law world there's a natural law and the spiritual law that i've explained in other videos and i'll make more in-depth ones once i get a better grasp of how to explain it but i operate now or i'm trying my best to operate at spiritual law where some people operate at natural law my vibration has been rising and rising and rising i mean like it's like every day i feel like something new is happening in me and like I just trust it I go with it and it's like when it happens it's like right now for example it's like I'm going on the raw food diet like like I want to wait till after the holidays because my mom likes to cook me vegetarian foods so I try to you know keep it up and like have her like feel like she's doing something nice for me she likes to cook for me she's mom you know that's what moms do so like I'm trying to like you know hold off a little bit but then I feel like after Thanksgiving like I'm gonna go like 100% raw food and maybe like have a snack here and there that's a little bit like against the diet but you know that's what I'm gonna do but that's what my body tells me to do some people said like being vegan kills you and blah 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 I mean maybe it might kill you but I love it it makes me feel good so I'm going to continue to do it my intuition is saying you like this this is making us feel amazing let's keep on going with it but I feel like that has to do with my vibration because I do I personally believe that meat is dense it's more dense fruits and vegetables have light energy all they do is eat the sun and the soil but they mainly eat the sun especially fruit of uh, fruit foods with chlorophyll you know the green stuff they eat nothing but sunlight so when you're eating sunlight you're eating pure energy whereas with meat you're eating processed energy that's been processed by something else and then of course it has like proteins and all that type of stuff but it's literally denser you know more dense denser whatever you know what i mean <laughs> but these are the things that i do in my life my intuition is guiding me down this road you know but one thing i can say is i i tend to challenge other things so um, when I was doing Moldavite research, um, it was talking about how like Moldavite can be draining for some people. It can make you tired because like it's like it's 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 bringing your vibration up so high that your your body's not used to it. Now with the Moldavite, I wasn't feeling that. 
but I can say Jesus. Oh, they're just playing. <laughs> but like with the Moldavite and the um, the Moldavite and the Agni Manatite, like I can honestly say that I felt that drain. Like I felt like, whew. like I've been feeling myself like getting really tired. But it's like my spiritual, my frequency I could tell is being like pulled to a higher level. I can feel it, and I'm just like, this is amazing. But dang, I'm tired. And a lot of people say, you know, like work with it for a couple days and then leave it alone. Work with it for a couple days and leave it alone. But I don't know. I'm kind of like a masochist in that way. Like they say, spiritually burnt out. It's like, it's a challenge for me. It feels good. My intuition is saying, yo, do it. You know, challenge yourself. Because once you get through that threshold, once you get through that barrier, you're going to be on a whole nother level. That's what my inner knowing is telling me. And weirdly enough, me, I kind of get into these rants where I just start talking, talking, talking like I am now. And I had never said that last sentence before. Like, just get through that threshold. I have never said that to myself before. But now I hear it and it just came out like that. So I know I'm on the right path. It's almost like a form of channeling. You see what I'm saying? And, um, like, I, I can honestly say, man, like, I'm in this, like, this bubble, this spiritual bubble where I feel like everything that comes in is just for me. You know, everything that comes into your world is just for you. But you have to tailor your ego to make sure you don't block out the things you should you shouldn't be. The things that you should be letting in, your ego is going to stop you. So you need to work with your ego, you know. Um, like, you know, don't. And I, once again, I made it like the angel and the devil. Like, the ego isn't bad. You know, you can't. I don't think you can get rid of the ego. Because even if you become like a saintly person, a mystic, a sage, a holy man, you know, I still think that that becomes your ego. So that's why I say tailor your ego. You see what I'm saying? And um, once again, um, just I always recommend for people, people that want to boost your intuition, people that want to raise it more. What I always say is don't get complacent. Just like that's actually something I learned in my work, you know, like like a safety thing. The most of the workplace injuries happen because people get complacent. You just get comfortable. Oh, I've been we've been working here for four months. I know what's going on. I know I know he'll see me in the dozer. And then you get complacent and trust people. and They just didn't see you at that time. They splat. You know what I mean? So don't get complacent you know always keep going you know because there's always something to learn in your field everything is infinite the thing that i can learn about that tree right there is infinite because i could i can learn about the, how the tree works what the branches do what this does what that does what this does and i can just go in deeper and deeper and deeper into a certain level then you'll find some persons like you know trees can do xyz right you know trees can get up and walk at midnight right you know i'm just made that up but like what if someone came to you and said that because then you'll be like whoa they're actually out there walking and you learn something completely new that you need to learn about everything is infinite so if you were into your tarot cards you know for example i've never messed with them too much but like if you're into tarot cards get into tarot cards do them all the way learn everything you can about them you know and then like you'll find someone else that knows something more than you do and you learn from them there might be someone that's just starting but they have a completely new view on the tarot cards that you've been working with for 10 years but like, wow that's an interesting way to look at it. even i've never thought about thinking about it like this you know and then you can always always learn stuff but then what i always say is like i always recommend and i'm never here to take anyone away from their religion i'm not here to like start any family dramas or anything but it's like if you are like just i, I use christianity because i was born christian baptist you know i always say sure you're christian but why not implement some other person's walk of life into yours you know learn these things because it opens up another door and then if you were in that closed box of your religion you will be like wow there's more out there what else is there out there and then you're, the universe will always answer that question. God will always answer that question for you. And then you go, what else is out there? Um, you know, crystals. Uh, there's a prayer. There's different types of meditation. There's yoga. There's tantra. You know, people be like, oh, sex is bad. Sex is the devil. No. it's All of this stuff can be used to work on your light bodies, if you know anything about those. Rainbow bodies. You know, star seeds. Light workers. All these things that you can learn about. The world is infinite. If you stay in a box that says, oh, I'm only Christian, I'm only Muslim, I'm only whatever, you're only staying in that little box and you're just in there. Of course, it can go deeper and deeper and deeper into there. But why not go into an infinite box of an infinite box of an infinite box? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Infinite, infinity squared. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I just want people to just keep on going out there and learning more and learn from different people. Learn from people you don't like. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, they'll have such a strong opinion about something. You can sit there and be like, I disagree with you, but I, I like your passion. And I do see where you're coming from about X, Y, Z. You know what I mean? So, trust your intuition, everybody. 
you know, and keep on building it, keep on working with it, tailor your ego to work for you and not against you and then learn to trust your intuition because it's always been working for you but i feel like the intuition feeds your ego you know what i'm saying it feeds it and, it's, and it, it, give, it brings it back and then it goes right back out and keeps on searching for you so um i've been on a dope path a dope place right now that i just feel amazing and i just i like sharing this with people and one day i'm just going to have a nice community of people that we can all chat with talk with and for all the people that feel lonely in the world like once you trust your ego or just, well i mean yeah once you trust your ego but once you trust your intuition and learn to work with it and trust it you're going to find more people that are like-minded as you and you won't be lonely anymore i might make a video on that a little bit later but you know right now i just want to talk about intuition and learn and tell people that you need to learn to work with it learn to trust it because it'll always guide you towards something that's going to uh bring you spiritual physical emotional growth so that's about it for this video till the next one